Okay, look at this thing. Not this thing, this thing. All right. I'm gonna go out here and do a little bit of metal detecting and so uh, what time is it? 5.30, supposedly when the sun goes down anyway. I'm gonna hit a couple places out here um, in uh, LN Depot Park, which extends southward. And see what I'm gonna find, just to make a couple of hits thing go home and Get ready for work tonight on this Thanksgiving evening. I am. I'm kind of stoked about going back to work, though. I don't know why. I just, I just am. Cause that's the only way I can make money for work. <laughs> and then that, my son's got a refrigerator full of food for me from his girlfriend's house. So, um, and I just ate Waffle House. So, I, I didn't eat much though. I only. Ate the, the, you know, the chicken and the hash brown thing. So I only ate one order. So I might have another, I might, I might have a little bit of room for a little bit of stuff, for a little bit of food. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm gonna get out here and um, I'm gonna turn up the sensitivity on my metal detector. And I'm gonna go out here and see, wave it around like two or three times and see if I can find anything um, worthwhile, worth finding. And uh, with my predator shovel. Uh, model three, model th third, third tag on it. Model thirty-three, um, Hurricane uh, Predator tool show. Um, I think all week, rest of the week. Tonight's going to be thirty-three, some odd degrees, uh, so it's not quite freezing. Uh, three or four nights after that, it's going to be pretty cool, twenties, upper twenties. So you know, and so that means the days are going to be anywhere from forty to fifty degrees. So, I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can get something now, rather than later. And I'll be back. Oh, and look at the trees. Way over yonder, you can see like a utility light. And on the right of that, there's like a little house with a roof. Oh, it's pretty. That's all East Etowa. And uh, we're on this side which is West Etowah. They don't call it West Etowah. They just call that side East Etowah. This is Etowah. Going over the creek here. Hopefully I don't fall in. Oh, what's that? What's that? I'm hearing. Wow. Live action. Nature. Well, like I said, I was out here doing a little bit of metal detecting and the uh, first thing I did, I wasn't going to go live, but I was like, nah, I can't, I can't hold a camera. My phone the metal detector and the shovel so I'm just gonna follow through what I was doing earlier I found something from the get-go three inches down so I'm gonna dig that real quick see what we got I think I got my I have one in my pocket. Oops. Kind of hard doing this one in it. I could be anything. I really didn't look at the little identifier thing there. I should have looked at it a little bit more. It's been a year since I've done this. Oh, you're in this area. Okay, it's down a little further. Probably a bunch of rocks out of here. <laughs> it's a nail. It's a freaking nail, man. How about that? 
That's not what well, my peeps, how you say it, peeps, my people, I, I found like a pull tab and stuff, and there's some other things that I was trying to hit on and everything, but I could not see because it got so dark and everything, and I, uh, Land Ranger Pro does not have a backlight, unfortunately, so you can see what you're reading, because I can't, I got, I had a squint, and I had my glasses on, I was like, what in the world is it reading? I can't really see what I was on, was I, what I was hitting on metal detecting. It was some of that stuff was pretty deep, and what it is is just trash on the ground. It's just certain pieces of metal strewn out throughout the park area here, where this part part used to be the um, something of the railroad. There's like a couple of foundations where cabooses set on. The, the red thing you see behind me in my other videos, well, it, it's just on something very similar, but on the other down here further into the park. They, they had them on um, the concrete pads and so uh, around that area and everything it is it's just things are just strewn about here and there so you end up hitting big metal pieces of junk that probably came from trains and stuff and that whenever the building was dilapidated years ago they, they things all over the place but I was trying to find coins but you know and I had to say, here it is on the 28th, that's what it is, the 28th, the Thanksgiving Day. Uh, um, and I'm very thankful to the, my Lord and Savior as to where I was last year at this time. I didn't have a job. But by the grace of God, though, I was I was getting by with uh, help from um, from the state, you know, of course, get unemployment and everything. So I was I'm very, very thankful for that. I'm even thankful for my truck, my truck, y'all. And uh, if you hadn't seen my promo of Athens Auto Logic, you should look into that. Um, for as I have right now, my truck is running better because my coal got tightened down like it should be. The others people couldn't do, somebody did over there. And I, of course, I got brakes on my front here and everything. So uh, everything seems to be seems to be running right and everything so if it's not then i can just take it on back and they can probably do whatever you need to do so i'm thankful for little things like that and i'm thankful for my son i'm thankful for even the the impact the things that don't seem positive in my life i'm thankful for those i'm thankful to god for everything so every day is a give thanks to um to to the lord not just one day a year and you know thank you for food lord thank you for all these things that we take for granted, you know what I mean? And we do, we take so much for granted. We take the, our, our peace for granted, the, the, our country for granted, uh, our neighbors for granted. You know, there's so many things we take for granted and we shouldn't take it for granted, you know, because we, we can lose it like that. We can lose our freedom like that and not even do anything wrong. We can lose our freedoms and somebody has to be out there fighting for our freedoms. And now um, the military and everything like that, you know, and our peace officers and law enforcement and those who are out there. I got to go to work tonight, y'all. And it's going to be, I'm pretty sure it's going to be hell on wheels because we're going to have all kind of people coming in out there. Oh, I'm sick and everything. And the next couple of nights, several nights, it's going to be cold. And they're going to be wanting some shelter and everything. And who's got to run them off? For the most part, I do. If they got a place to go, yeah. But if they don't have a place to go and it's cold, then uh, get the law enforcement out there and they come pick them up and take them to the justice center. And they, that way they can stay out of the elements. Um, but in some cases, it's just the job is more than it needs to be uh, doing security at the hospital. And you got to deal with people, on, on kids who are on drugs and go bonkers and stuff and likes to tear up rooms and you know things like that and other people who are on drugs and they just they just kind of linger about and they just like tweaking real bad and all that kind of stuff and it's sad it's sad to see that kind of stuff and they should be in a place where they should be enjoying um, warmth and food and everything else and you know and off drugs but you know that's 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 what we have in this life that's that's just the way it is and to the Lord returns and he sets up his government you know and even at that a lot of people still won't uh, want to uh, um, just like they did with the Red Sea even though they've seen what the Lord did still some of them uh, un, they, they were unbelievers they, they're like oh well, we were thirsty and they not it's like didn't you just come through a Red Sea on dry ground and you're complaining about thirsting what okay 
So that, that's what we do. We take things for granted because we're sinful people. We are born in the sin. You know what I mean? So I'm sorry about the short video. You, whoever might watch this and everything. Um, but finding a nail is better than finding nothing at all, right? So anyway, I did find a pull tab. Um, it was like, like I said, it's buried in that darn clay though. It just got me all over me. It stuck to my shovel, stuck to my hands. It was still a little bit moist from last night's rain, but I noticed it was pretty warm too. The further you went down, the warmer it was. Something. Anyway. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to get off here. And like I said, I hope you have a, 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 a nice rest of your Thanksgiving night. Okay? All right. Well, y'all behave out there. Don't get stupid. Okay? And you get, give God thanks for everything. Because if it wasn't for him, you wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for his son, Jesus Christ, you wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for his son, Jesus Christ, you would have no salvation. You wouldn't have his written word. God bless. Take care. We'll see you.